Thanks very much. And our first question, Michael Kerr, please. Following the slaughter of Lee Rigby, should Britain adopt a Big Brother approach to the surveillance of all forms of communication? The proposal that there should be much more surveillance of all forms of communication following Lee Rigby's murder. Uh, Alan Johnson. Well, I don't regard it as a Big Brother approach, but if what the question is inferring is should we adopt the communications data bill, I think we should. So did the government in last year's Queen's speech, because it was in there. Then there was a very important and I think very constructive contribution by a joint committee of both houses, Commons and Lords, because the bill was published in draft form. They pointed to a number of problems. They said the bill was too widely drawn, but they said that it still needed legislation. The Intelligence and Security Committee, which are the members of the, House of Parliament from, uh, of the houses, houses of Parliament, from both sides, uh, and from all sides, chaired by Mal Malcolm Rifkin, they see all the MI6 and MI5 intelligence. Before you go any further, and they reported to the Prime Minister that there was a problem, that it was getting worse, and it needed to be tackled through legislation. What exactly is it you would like to see, just to get well, to the heart of it? Uh, the number of problems, it's not the content of communications. When people communicate by landline or mobile, the security services have always been able to look at who was ringing who, at what time, the duration of the call. Nothing to do with the content. That's a completely different uh, system that has not been changed at all. But as new technology has advanced, there's new forms of technology and communication that are not covered by that legislation. And everyone who looked at this, me, my successor, Theresa May, the Intelligence and Security Committee, and even the Joint Committee of both houses said this is a problem and it does need to be addressed. It's disappeared from the Queen's speech, it seems, because the Liberal Democrats have vetoed it, having approved it being in the Queen's speech last year. Now, it's nothing to do with Woolwich, incidentally. This would still be an issue with or without Woolwich. It's hardly a knee-jerk reaction. This has been known for six years that there's a flaw in the intelligence services ability to track these, this very necessary intelligence. Final point, I say 95% of all the cases that the security services have cracked, you know, seven people due to take off in bombs, uh, in planes to, uh, to, to, to America, uh, all these other plots that have been uncovered, 95% of them were uncovered through this very form of tracking who was involved, who was ringing who, yeah. the duration of the calls, not the content. This is nothing to do with the content. Yeah. And you said that Theresa May ought to resign if she doesn't get this through. Which I'm is trying a pretty to be tough helpful to, to Theresa, as always. But look, she's the Home Secretary. She is her prime responsibility with the Prime Minister to keep the public safe. She sees the need for this. She, we hear, behind the scenes, she, and she argued for it on Sunday, I think it is so crucial to a Home Secretary's role that it is a resignation issue. But, but and if I was the Home Secretary and I couldn't get this legislation through Cabinet and couldn't convince them as the, as the voice of the security services and the police in, in, in these circumstances, then I, 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 wouldn't, but, I wouldn't be able to do my job but as Alan, Home Secretary. But Alan, when you were Home Secretary, you didn't do it. No, and no, there no, must no, be a no, good no. reason why you didn't do it. Yes, there is. Yeah. Um, There's a very good reason why we didn't do it, because I was Home Secretary in 2009 and there was an election in 2010. And the way the government have actually approached this is absolutely the right way. Publish a bill in draft before, give a year for various committees to look at it, take a very measured approach. We didn't have time to do that before the 2010 election. Or you would have resigned if you hadn't been able to get it through. Yes, <laughs> yes. Is Ed Miliband in favour of it? Yes. Oh, well, Ed Miliband agrees with... The what amendments you just said. agrees with the amendments that were made by right. the Joint Committee, which are very important. They were supposed to be in the legislation we saw in the Queen's speech. It's disappeared. It, Anna Subri. Yeah, I mean, there is this loophole. Um, I, I mean, I used to be, before I got elected, I was a criminal barrister, so I'm, I'm aware of what we can do uh, and, the, and the real evidential <clears throat> um, benefit that there is in looking at, for example, as, as Alan rightly describes, uh, contact between people on mobile phones. The daft madness of it all is, is that you can't get the same sort of evidence on the basis of people using the internet 
to communicate with each other. And as he says quite rightly, it's not about the content, it's about the communication, it's about the timing, the fact that different people, and you put, they literally, the intelligence forces, the police, put it together in a grid. And it's extremely useful um, evidence to show, especially conspiracy or joint enterprise. And you'd like to see this go through? And I would like to see it done. And I think that now is the time for all the political parties, because this should not be a party political issue, for us to sit down and work out a way that we can essentially tie up and secure this loophole so we can get what we want mm. without the legitimate concerns that people have about mm. any encroachment of Big Brother or the state in getting snooped. Had, had, had you thought of ignoring the Liberal Democrats and going along with Labour and the two of you would then have a big majority? No, I, you could I, do it? I, I, I don't think that we should start to try and say, see this as, as damaging the coalition and frankly playing cheap political party political politics. It's what would be the cheap? In, this is a national security yeah, issue. Exactly. What's cheap about it? Well, no, but saying a Labour and the Tories get together and gang up on the Liberals. That's not the approach to be taken in this at all. Okay. This, needs, this needs us all to sit down, work out a way of achieving what I think we actually all want to achieve. Right. You, sir. Oh, yeah. If you put the bill aside for one moment, apparently Lee Rigby's killers were known to uh, authorities for being activists. Shouldn't they have been under some sort of surveillance anyway, apart yeah. from the bill? Many of them. I think it's a very good point the gentleman makes there about existing powers and existing surveillance techniques and existing flaws uh, in the system. The very worst time to change your laws is in the immediate aftermath of what is a terrorist attack or an alleged terrorist attack. This is the worst time to panic, to have knee-jerk responses. And I was 100% with David Cameron uh, on a rare occasion last week when he said that we should carry on with business as usual. We shouldn't have knee-jerk responses. And Alan is a great guy, a voice of reason on many issues, but on issues of counter-terrorism and civil liberties, the last person we should be taking advice from is a former Labour Home Secretary. <laughs> that is the sad truth of the matter. The coalition, I think the, coalition, the, coalition <laughs> the coalition, for all its faults, and whoever wants to take credit, the Tories or the Lib Dems who are not here tonight, uh, has done a lot of good work in terms of restoring a lot of civil liberties that were lost under 13 years of Labour. And thank God for the Lib Dems standing up uh, for the, against this snoopers charter or this big brother move, whatever you want to label it. You know, the Lib Dems haven't exactly been people who stand up for much in recent years. Nick Clegg has been a kind of Mr. Blobby figure but, when but it comes you, to you see this standing up for things, but, you know, he's spot on on this. You think this is an encroachment of, of civil liberties? Why? 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 Mass, there, why mass all these other things? David, but it's it either, it's mass mass it isn't. Well, it really it is, isn't. you're not going after but, any. But, but, but at the moment... Everyone's emails. No, 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 no. How can you... How, and what, how can and let me finish my point. What happens in these situations is it's innocent people, it's ordinary people who get surveilled on, and the criminals and the terrorists actually find a loophole. So you believe that the security forces, so you believe that security forces shouldn't be, shouldn't have the ability to track uh, phone calls over landlines and over mobile phones. I think that, that must I be think, the obvious. I, I, think, I think that a government, I think a government that could not keep control of 25 million child benefit records on a single CD and lost it in the post should not be entrusted with the data <laughs> of the entire <laughs> population. I'm spurious. All, 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 all government is negotiating the exchange of freedom for security. Exactly. And you give up certain freedoms in order that you may be free to walk home at night without being attacked, whatever it is. That's the whole basis of government. And in this instance, it does seem to me that already the existing situation, which is when they do have permission to go in, when they have some reason to suspect, all that is needed, I think, and this is, I'm only speaking for one of the lobbies, is to loosen the rules that bind them. There's a thing they can only hold information for 30 days. They can only do this for something or other. They can't repeat the request. Use intercept if, evidence in Exactly. Court. If we had a situation within the existing laws whereby once they have a reason to investigate and interfere and actually look at the, at the you know, whatever someone is doing on their computer or their telephone, whatever, but they're doing it unfettered and able to achieve a result, surely that is, apart from anything else, more realistic than trying to screen 60 million people. I mean, I, th this is one of the things, is simply to make it easier for the investigative forces and to take away the current rules that restrict them. And that would make a big difference. You said that. The communications bill, I mean, if adopted, it would only solve the, the symptom of the problem of terrorism. I mean, the, the source of terrorism re really is extremism. 
and that has to come down to the aggressive British foreign policy. I mean, we had an attack in the, in the US, the Boston bombings in France, and now the UK, and all of these had to do with the attackers saying they were upset you know, with the, with the Western all foreign right, policy. We'll, we'll, come that, we'll come to that okay. question in just a moment. Let me bring down James in on the first point about surveillance. Okay, I think Julian makes some interesting points, but the one I would still come back to, how on earth are we going to resource this if this bill goes through? Medi's made the very good point that, you know, quite frankly, governments of every colour have got a lamentable record in terms of the, the way they've made their, or held the, door, uh, the data in any form of security, um, the quality of the information, how that's been handled as such. My understanding is that MI5, MI6 have got a budget which is under considerable threat from the austerity measures that this coalition government is bringing in. So it's all very well to say, and I agree entirely with Medi's point, that you know, this is a gross intrusion of generalised civil liberties with no necessity. There's a very small proportion of the population that does need monitoring. But if we're going to suddenly be embarking on this huge exercise, very costly, without the budget to do it, you know, quite frankly, it's going to fail at the first hurdle. It, it, this is not surveillance. We have to get this absolutely clear. This is not surveillance. It's about the sort of access to data which we currently allow with mobile telephones and landlines, and we merely seek to extend that to the Internet. It is not about surveillance. Well, I'm, with all due respect, and, and, and just clarify, that way. To clarify this, sorry, you're making a distinction. You, you're able... To, you're asking the uh, ISPs to say we keep all track of all the things that have been done, but not the content. Uh, of absolutely, what's been done. So that's and, it, and it, it shows a trail. And so, right. at the moment, and then you are, can access that with the permission of the Home Secretary if you choose to. Ex then you get into completely different territory. But this is about the ability to get data, which and, just as you can at the right. moment, and would it for it mobile last phones. Week's random yeah, murder in no, 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 and that's but why it this, but it prevented uh, a whole series of plots. Uh, that you've read about and that the people have been trial, uh, it's tried. It's not just and about terrorism. And it, and it's not. Hold on, Alan, if we've already prevented lots of plots, why do we need new laws? No, no, because yes. it's not about terrorism. This is the other it's thing which we mistake. If, if you look at the way that we've collected data, for example, on mobile phones and landlines, it's been particularly successful in the prosecution, for example, of drug rings. Um, and it's incredibly important evidence. I've seen it myself in court, as you, as you may imagine. And so it's an extension of that. And it's really about just ex filling in this loophole. It's not surveillance and it's not right. snooping. Uh, there are a number of people with their hands up. If you, if you want to talk specifically about the surveillance issue, do. Otherwise, we'll widen it out to the question that was.